friends thank you for watching all my previous video if you're watching my video first time please like share and subscribe to my channel and in today's video we are going to see the Lloyd air conditioning DC inverter error codes and their solution if you know the error codes and their proper solution it makes you easy to do the troubleshooting and make your system work faster without wasting our time let's start our video and see all the error codes and their proper solution Let's see the first error code. When you see in your display E2 or your LED2 timer is flashing, it means room temperature sensor faulty. First of all, you have to check the placement of the room temperature. If it is connected to the coil or if it is not connected to the coil properly, then you have to check the connection in the PCB. You can check the zip if the zip is connected properly in your PCB or not. Then you have to check the wire which is going through the zip up to the sensor if it is cut or if it is damaged or not then you have to check the resistance of your room temperature sensor if the resistance is good it means your room temperature sensor is good then you have to check the pcb if the out supply from the pcb is coming to the room temperature sensor or not if it is not coming out from the pcb then you have to change the indoor pcb board then your error e2 led2 timer flashing will be off and your unit will be in working condition see the next error code when you see in your display e3 or your led1 operation is flashing it means pipe temperature sensor faulty it is called pipe temperature sensor and even it is called coil temperature sensor when you see in your indoor unit near the coil there is a one sensor which is connected to your piping of your indoor unit you operator then you have to check the connection in the pcb if the zip is connected properly or you have to check the wire between the sensor and the zip if it is damaged or if it is cut or if it is not connected properly then you have to check the resistance of your sensor if the resistance is good then you have to check the pcb if the out supply coming from the pcb is good or not if the out supply from the pcb is not coming good then you have to change the pcb and your unit will be working and you will get the solution for the error e3 and led1 operation light flashing Let's see the next error code. When you see E4 or LED3 fan flashing, it means outdoor pipe temperature sensor faulty. Outdoor pipe temperature is just installed in our condenser coil of our outdoor unit. You can see near the compressor. When you see this error, directly you have to go to the outdoor pipe temperature sensor, then you have to check the connection, then you have to check the wire between the sensor and the zip, then you have to check the zip if it is properly connected to the PCB or not. Then you have to check the resistance, if the resistance is good or not, if the resistance is good, then you have to check the PCB, the power supply which is coming from the outer PCB to the sensor is good or not. Sometimes if it is short, that time you will not see the any resistance in your outer pipe temperature sensor. If you see that the outdoor pipe temperature sensor is good, then you have to change the PCB and you will get the solution for the error E4. Let's see the next uh, code. When you see in your display E7, it means apron mount functioning, or you can see LED1 and LED2 flashing. It also means apron mount functioning. First of all, you have to check in your PCB if the apron is removable or not. If the apron is not removable, then you have to replace your whole PCB card. If the apron is re removable, then you have to bring a same pro card, same module apron, then you have to install. You have to check if you get the solution for this error. Uh, Maximum time, if you get this error E7, you have to replace the PCB and you will get the solution for the error E7. Let's see the next error code. When you see in your display E8, it means it is for cassette Lloyd air conditioning error code because E8 means water level alarm malfunctioning. When our motor in the indoor unit of our cassette type, if it is not working, if the water level increase, at that time it show the error E8 or LED4 alarm flashing at that time you have to do the servicing for your indoor unit and you have to clean the pump of your cassette type air conditioning and you will get the solution for the error E8 and you will get the water drained properly and there will be no leakage and there will be no water level alarm malfunctioning do the servicing and you will get the solution for the error E8 let's see the next air code when you see in your display cl actually cl is not a uh, error code or any fault because when we are using the air conditioning sometimes we put in the child lock when you put the child lock in loyal air conditioning it show the error cl 
it is an indication that the child lock is activated in your air conditioning then you have to close the child lock then you will get the solution for the cl and your unit will be working in normal condition and you can operate the remote as according to your wish